Hey, what was that sound? It was opportunity knocking. No one knocked. You just barged in. Knock, knock. You were right, Donald. It makes more sense for you to enter first. It's OK, Daddy. We'll just start over. Uh, you know, why don't we just uh, dive in to uh, whatever this is? OK, you remember Donald, my son, who's two years older than me. Ah, uh, yes, please. As I recall, you own the Tracy Jordan Institute for Black Karate. You wouldn't believe this, but that business failed. I blame Obama. But the good news is, Donald has a brand new venture. Sell him, son. It's a theme restaurant in Times Square. Well, the theme restaurant business model does work. NASCAR's Fat Load Cafe is a gold mine. Well, we got a bunch of capital from Brown and Folderson, and we wanted to get you a seat on this rocket before it takes off. So it's decided Jack's on board as an investor. Uh, not so fast. So it's decided. Uh, let's just bottom line this thing. I never invest without doing my research. I'll do a site visit tonight and kick the tires. All right, but if some other investor comes along, it's your loss. Mexican billionaire's calling me right now. Excuse me. Uh, Senor Mexico, hola. Si, si, yo soy Don, si. Andale, andale. Arriba, arriba. What is Senor Mexico saying? Stop keeping me out the loop. Hey, Jack. Welcome to Staples. Oh, uh, why did you choose that name? Because Staples means the basics, and that's what you're getting here. Food, drinks, fun, Staples. Yeah, we got that. Staples is also a uh, giant office supply chain. Well, we'll see who's still in business 200 years from now. Mm. Donald, I'm going to pick a problem at random. Mm. Is the theme of your restaurant not enough tables? No, we just need a lot of room for the monster fight. Excuse me? Jack, are you familiar with the mega restaurant Medieval Times? Well, I took that model and replaced the knights with unlicensed versions of Japanese monsters. Ladies and gentlemen, there's been an underwater nuclear explosion. A beast has been awakened. It approaches with fearsome steps. Boom, boom, boom. Are we paying the price for our hubris of science? Witness the primeval might that is Godzilla with one L for trademark reasons. Oh, no one is safe. Who else is going to protect us? It's Mecha Godzilla. Boom, boom, boom. Thank you for choosing Staples. Uh, Donald. George punched my crotch. You liked it. Oh, my God. Well, Tracy, I went to the restaurant last night. That place is a disaster. Damn it, you think I don't know that? I pour more cash into Donald's restaurant than my money pit in Connecticut. You have a house in Connecticut? No, I do not. Jack, I need other investors besides me. What? You're the only one bankrolling this? What about Brown and Folderson? That's what I call my wallet. I bankrolled every one of Donald's dumb ideas. But what choice do I have? I'm his father. But you're doing him no favors as a business partner or a father. You need to cut him off. Come on. The boy's only 43 years old. Tracy, listen to me. Not everyone is cut out to be a businessman. For example, curly-haired men and people who need glasses. But I can't crush his dreams. You're not. You're just letting him fly with his own wings. And I bankrolled that, too. Thank God we tested it with a monkey first. OK. Donald is on his way up. I know cutting him off is hard, but it's your duty as a parent. <laughs> Tracy, do not laugh at the word duty. Be strong. Be rational. No emotion. Unemotional. Got it. Daddy, what's going on? I just love you so much. I love you too, Daddy. <laughs> OK, stop it. Donald, what Tracy is trying to tell you is that you're an adult, and he will no longer support you financially. Is that true, Daddy? For the love of God, stop calling him Daddy. It is true, little man. But I need you to be a big boy on this. You're just not meant to be a businessman. Fine. I'll be OK. I got other ideas, like a microbrewery that also serves frozen yogurt. I'm going to call it Microsoft. 